Hi, I'm Keith Swafford with O'Reilly Media, and we're here at Strata Hadoop World 2013 in New York City. And joining me is Miko Matsumura. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing fine. Good. Um, now, you are the VP of Marketing Developer Relations, correct? Mm -hmm. At um, Hazelcast. Yes, that's right. Correct. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what is it that Hazelcast, what is it that you guys do, what solutions uh, are you guys doing, you guys working with? Yeah, sure. So Hazelcast is the leading open source in-memory data grid product. Now you may ask yourself, what is an in-memory data grid? So one way of looking at it is that we're going to do basically what Hadoop did to the data warehouse, okay. to transactional systems. So an in-memory data grid is basically an interface to lots and lots of RAM. So you could have like 600 nodes and a terabyte of RAM to address, and the question is, is how do you access that? So, so just to give you just a real quick developer eye view. So in our world, they just go and get a 2.6 megabyte jar file, they mm -hmm. stick it in their class path, and suddenly they have access to a bunch of libraries, and you just say get distributed map or queue or topic or list, and you can basically load those up you can talk to them just like they're sitting on a single machine, but of course now your distributed hash map is sitting on top of like 600 or 800 or however many machines you have, mm -hmm. and you're able to address a huge kind of amount of, of distributed memory. So that, that's basically the, the gist of in-memory data grid. Okay, so really innovative, pushing for this in-memory data grid. It's the new Hadoop. That's the <laughs> way that it's going, potentially. Uh, that's what you guys are all about, which is great. Now. As you guys started developing this solution, what were some of the what are the, some of the problems that you saw there that made you want to create this? Yeah, um, so there's a lot of kind of really concrete applications. Uh, if you look at one of them, it's things like distributed caching. So this is kind of a pretty known problem, right? Which is that you know you have a bottleneck at the, at the database, right? And so the <laughs> question is, is how do you get execution happening in a distributed way, but have it be really close to the data? So traditionally this is done using things like stored procedures, but like everyone knows that that's like a total nightmare and you don't right. want to go there, right? And mm -hmm. so instead, what about pulling the data up to okay. the application tier? So it, that sounds great, but the thing that gets really crazy when you do that is, is all of a sudden you have concurrency problems because you actually have data coming up to the application tier and then you have a bunch of different cluster applications all talking to the same data. Mm -hmm. And of course now suddenly it's like who changed the data and what's the state of the data and so you're really in a mess, right? right? Unless you have something like a data grid that just kind of like seamlessly does at RAM speed yeah what you want it to do, you know? So, so that's kind of the, the, one of the magic tricks that, that we solve. So. Okay. so are you, just to clarify, you moving, are you guys actually moving the applications to the data or bringing the data up to the application? We're bringing the data up to, the, the, up applications. to the applications. Yeah, okay. yeah. And so what that, what that means is that if you have a cluster of several hundred machines, you know, then the data is actually being distributed into caches all over the place yeah. and the application's <laughs> operating. But the thing that's fun is, is that a single application logic is just talking to a single data structure and the grid is kind of magically taking care of all of the kind of like movement of the data. So that's that's kind of the, our secret sauce. Okay, this is secret sauce. I love that. <laughs> um, now, where do you guys hope to see your guys? Uh, where do you hope to see the company in a couple years? Yeah, so uh, we just took in our first Silicon Valley Series A venture capital. Okay, awesome. And so we see ourselves just in the, about a year or two's time. You know, we'll probably be raising Series B, and we'll be kind of really scaling up the company, mm -hmm. but in terms of the vision of the company, we see this way more than just things like distributed caching. Like we actually see lots of different use cases. For example, we have a, a memcached adapter, so we can actually create elastic memcached. So what we start to see is we start to see use cases where we take over functions from things like uh, Zookeeper. And so eventually, mm -hmm. what we're trying to build is is a completely general purpose distributed computing capacity that sits at the heart of uh, basically most large enterprises. And, and mm -hmm. today we already have about 10,000 deployments worldwide and we have about a server start less than one every second around the world. So, you know, we're definitely kind of getting some adoption through so that. We're, so we're just at the beginning then? Yeah, we're at the beginning just of the like, beginning. I think a pretty large scale revolution. Awesome. Well, Miguel, thanks for your time and best of luck to you. Oh, thank you so much.